We all need a role model. Someone who's relatable. For me, it was Vegeta. His big forehead, similar to me. His misplaced pride. For me, it's not pride, it's my inner strength. Because I had no inner strength. And when I first saw Dragon Ball Z, I felt like it was therapy before I really understood what therapy was. But late through my therapy, I found Vegeta. I looked at him and I knew for sure that this guy doesn't get plus support. And that related to me so much. I didn't have talent. I worked for what I had. And when you see Cell, the complete opposite of Vegeta. Someone who was greeted to be perfect. Someone who had the talent and did not have to work for his power. All he had to do was suck people off. Damn, whoa. As an adult, I look back on Vegeta and I say, Vegeta, did you just pull a Goku? Because let's put the pieces together here. Before Cell absorbed Android 18, we have Trunks basically being King Kai telling Goku, aka Vegeta, don't do this. Do not let your enemy go to full power. Goku, in his Super Saiyan state, let Frieza go to 100%. Vegeta, in his ascended Super Saiyan state, let Perfect Cell absorb 18. The only difference is, Goku did it to Avenger Friend, while Vegeta, on the other hand, was through the roof finding a way to surpass a Super Saiyan that he needed a challenge. And he thought, if semi-perfect cell is so easy, why would perfect cell be any harder? Vegeta acting like a delusional child with his ego through the roof, thinking that you're invincible, all because you beat the bully. Then the bully finds out what a gun is. The gun being for Cell, his perfection. And instead of accepting his own limitations, Vegeta gave it one last stand. Most people might just lay down, accept defeat, and hope for a miracle. But when you see that there's a character out there that not only wants to make his own miracle, but at the same time, you're rooting for him? Yo, my respect, even as a child through an adult, never wavered when I saw this scene. Sam, you call yourself perfection, but you never got my approval. So now you went to the me! I was only perfect for five minutes, and already an imitator. <laughs> you think you're my equal? Then show me. Gladly, final flash. Attack! Though the plot turned out to be that every time Vegeta ever does this big climactic move, it never ends up being the villain. It's the fact that Vegeta is unwilling to accept defeat, and his last stand will go down in history as a badass moment. Thank you for watching, and you guys stay safe and peace.